Okay, I'm going to show you how I fuse um, my motors up, whether they nozzle, nozzleless, strobe, BP, whistle, don't matter. This is the chuffer I just made. A pink chuffer. Um, I use this uh, HVAC uh, foil tape. And it's the type that is made of actual aluminum. They have that plastic type out there. I don't use that. It looks just like it, but it's a different product. And I just wrap it, cover about three eighths of an inch of the bottom of the tube, and start rolling it. And I'll try and keep it open as I go. Just roll it up like that. You see nothing fancy there. It's about one or two, one to two times around is all you need. And I take uh, about a foot of quick match <clears throat> and I take some of this Visco instant fuse. It burns like I don't know, like a third of a second and a foot, something like that. I know I ain't supposed to cut that with scissors. I forgot my cutters here. Okay, I insert about like that. It's, this is the part that's going to go up in the motor. This fist goes about two inches into here. I don't clove hitch it or anything like that. It's just in friction inserted. Then I'm going to put this up inside the motor. I'm going to stop this part before it goes into the nozzle. But the white part is going to go up inside the motor. I try to keep it centered there as I squeeze it around here. I'm squeezing this to keep this quick match in an open instead of squeezing it flat I want it to be like a round shape and you check the how well it's attached that tape sticks real good to that plastic coated quick match if you want to use a handmade quick match you can do that and when you clove hitch it don't clove hitch it tight just put some uh, white glue on there and allow the white glue to do your fastening. The clove hitch is just there to kind of draw it up but you don't want to squeeze it tight. You want the gases to flow through here unimpeded. You don't want to choke. And what's going to happen is that those hot gases are going to get thrown up inside the motor. That instant fuse just is there to raise the temp. Um, and it gives it just a little bit more gas to help make sure that this foil is going to pop open. And it's going to pop open before the motor has a chance to Kato. Uh, you could do this on the most powerful whistle motor you can make and it, it's not going to cause it to Kato. But what it does do is light that whole sucker up really good. And uh, you'll notice how much, how more aggressive they'll take off with this fusing. And I just stick my visco up in here. And that's all there is to it. Now, I'll show you if I do clove it. You can see I'm not gonna <clears throat> I'm not gonna draw down. I'm just kind of getting tension on it, but that's about it. And then I'll double knot it. And that's all I do on that. 